ones, welcome to the Smackdown Hotel. We have an entire full, yes I'm not joking you, full WWE 2K18 roster reveal. Over 200 plus superstars in this game. Female, male, NXT, 205 Live, Raw, SmackDown. We got it. The full reveal is here. So we hope you like this upload. And if you do, remember to smash that like button as hard as you possibly can. And check yourselves into the SmackDown Hotel by subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. As we now break into the full roster for WWE 2K18. So, without further ado, let's break down the official WWE full entire roster that has been revealed. And we start off with Rick Martel. Before moving on to a first of many in this list, and if I miss any, I will apologize now. Mick Foley, who has five spots on the roster. He has Mick Foley, Mankind, Dude Love, Cactus Jack, Attitude Era, and Cactus Jack 92. Before we move on to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now, Ricky Steamboat has, again, a 91 and a 1994 attire in the game. Miss Jacqueline is also included for the women's roster. When we also meet Rikishi, who's going to be part of the roster as well. The singular attire for Macho Man, Randy Savage, as well as Mr. Perfect. And the returning Lex Luger as well. Moving on to one half of the Outsiders, Reza Ramon. And then on to the ravishing Rick Rude. Now, Rick Rude, again, any of these people that I'm not mentioning a second attire for, they have a single attire in the game and a single roster slot in the game. Moving on now to Big Man Vader and then Ric Flair, who is another. He has two roster slots in the game, Ric Flair 88 and Ric Flair 1991. Moving on now to one half of the former American Alpha, who is Chad Gable. Moving on to Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax, two big parts of the Raw Women's Division. Ty Dillinger is next, a perfect 10. And looking at some of these alternate attires, it's just incredible. And there's more to come. Apollo Crews is also in the game. Carmella, who is part of the SmackDown Women's Division. Dana Brooke and Neville, the current Cruiserweight Champion. Dash Wilder, one half of the Revival. As we see the other half of the Revival, Scott Dawson also appear in the game. Nick Miller is included on top of that. And we're starting to go through a few different tag teams. Shane Fawn, also part of 2K18's roster. As you move on to Akam and Reza, who are parts of the Authors of Pain. Now, I haven't had any confirmation about Paul Ellering's inclusion. Michael P.S. Hayes has got two roster slots in the game for 86 and 92, along with Jimmy Garvin. Moving on now to DIY, Tommaso Ciampa is included in W2K18, along with his tag team partner, uh, Johnny Gargano, but he's much later on. Cedric Alexander and Asuka, who has recently had to drop the NXT Women's Championship due to an injury. Moving on to more people in the Cruiserweight division, TJ Perkins, or TJP, and Roderick Strong, who is part of the NXT roster. As formerly mentioned, Johnny Gargano also makes an appearance on the roster. Potentially big things coming up for him in NXT, as well as the other half of the aforementioned American Alpha, Jason Jordan, who is now Jason Jordan Angle, if you want to call him that. Samoa Joe is also included in the game. Big Cass, as you can expect. Although he is now sidelined with a six to nine month injury, that's not going to stop him being in the game. Rusev and two of the only members of the roster who have double slots in the game. And that is Chris Jericho, who has his most recent The List Chris Jericho and Chris Jericho from 2000, which I'm assuming is his original Millennium Man gimmick. Along with Finn Balor and Finn Balor Demon form, which as you would expect. No special edition, it seems, this time that I had in the last edition. Kevin Owens and Goldberg are included along with Earthquake and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. And this is talking about some of the legends in the game. So Larry Zabisco 
as well as Brutus the Barber Beefcake, who has a very, very storied history within WWE. Moving on next to Greg the Hammer Valentine, Edge the Rated R Superstar, Godfather as well. No second roster slot this time. One of the people I am most looking forward to playing with in WWE 2K18, Eddie Guerrero, before we move on to Daniel Bryan, who is being shown as an active member of the roster in this game. Interesting enough, Maurice is included in the game, but Paul Ellering and other managers are not. Naomi also included, along with the Raw previous women's champion, four-time Raw women's champion, Sasha Banks. On to Bailey, who again is another former Raw Women's Champion, and then moving on to Ivory. Natalia then makes her appearance in 2K18 along with Mickey James. Next on to the straight fire, Becky Lynch from SmackDown Live, and Tamina follows suit, another SmackDown Live superstar. Amber Moon from NXT also has her appearance in WWE 2K18 as well. Moving on to more legends here, Kerry Von Erich, along with Kevin Von Erichs, marking the appearance of the Von Erich family in the game, along with Jay Uso. This is more tag team related, and Jimmy Uso as well. Surprised they haven't had their previous attires in the game where they had the face paints, as we move on to the Hype Bros, Mojo Raleigh, and Zack Ryder. Shinsuke Nakamura then makes his appearance in 2K18, returning from last year's game, along with AJ Styles. Bobby Roode, the glorious one, if you haven't seen his entrance, I've linked it into the description. His entrance is absolutely phenomenal. Moving on to The Miz, who is also phenomenal, and actually I really like his entrance as well, as Roman Reigns, who has had his attire debuted in the game, has shown up. Part of the Samoan family, The Rock also appears in the game as you would expect, but no alternate attire for him this year. Randy Orton is also there with Triple H who has three different attires along with Kurt Angle who has two different attires as you can expect, but he's part of the DLC for the game. Now, Triple H has his current day WrestleMania 33 attire with Triple H01, which is his post-injury attire, and Triple H98, which is attitude attire. We also have Brock Lesnar and John Cena, and if you don't know already, Kurt Angle has two attires in game, along with Rob Van Dam and Batista, who will all pre-order bonuses, stroke collector's edition bonuses. More details of those to come. Bray Wyatt is also good, as you would expect in the game. No alternate roster slot for him which you wouldn't expect or maybe it'd be quite nice to have like a I remember when he first started maybe a Michael McGillicutty who remembers that name Dolph Ziggler also included in the game he's had multiple different appearances in the years even if he has always been called Dolph Ziggler apart from when he was in Spirit Squad Sami Zayn in there more about Kurt Angle Rob Van Dam and Batista so Rob Van Dam and Batista are only available if you get the deluxe edition of the game there, of course, is Dean Ambrose, as you would expect him to be in the game, being one third of the potentially reviving Shield, but definitely revived Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Romance, Raw Tag Team Champions, anyway. Corbin also included in the game, Kalisto and Kurt Angle, as I mentioned, because I'm going through this as much as possible. I'll mention Akira Tozawa here as well, along with Sin Cara, who is coming up. Kurt Angle has his ECW wrestling machine, which is basically his TNA gimmick, pretty much. And also he has his Olympic champion, his American hero time from his debut. As we move now into Hideo Atami, who I'm not surprised is on the roster. There's definitely a lot more surprising people on the roster, such as Roderick Strong and some of the NXT tag teams. One big surprise, as I didn't expect him to be in the game this year, maybe for DLC, is Eric Young and the rest of Sanity, who will be confirmed as we come up. As we've done to the current reigning WWE Champion, Jinder Mahal, both of the Bushwhackers, Connor from The Ascension also makes a return with Victor as well, as you would expect. And moving on to Cesaro. Talking about tag teams, you got Sheamus there as well. When will the Hardys make their appearance in the game? We don't know. We're expecting him to get announced. Maybe they will by the end of this video. Carl Anderson 
and of course Luke Gallows, the good brother and the man with a hot Asian wife in 2K18. Let's move on to another member of Sanity, Nikki Cross, who has been taking the NXT Women's Division by storm. Alundra Blazers, we're going to go through another mass announcement of female superstars. Emma, Lita, as you would expect to be in the game, one of the legends, and also commentating on the May Young Classic. Emma Ray also included in the game, even though she hasn't been actively in WWE for some time, along with Paige. Two very surprise announcements. Didn't expect them both to be in the game. Even though they're both contracted to WWE, haven't actually had a competitive match in a long time. And then you would expect this, the Bellas are in the game. It's stuck like two massive contrasts. Brie Bella, Nikki Bella in the game. Moving on to more legends now, we have Buddy Roberts and the British Bulldog. So happy to see him in the game. Diamond Dallas Page, another one who has a double attire. He has 92 and 98. Big Boss Man, 1991 attire and an attitude attire, along with Mark Henry in the game as well. Bam Bam Bigelow makes an appearance with Brett the Hitman Hart, who again has another double additional roster slot in 97 and 1998. Brett the Hitman Hart. Moving on to the American Dream Dusty Rhodes as we go to The Undertaker. The Undertaker has a ginormous five rivaling Mick Foley's roster slots for this year. He has his most recent, which I would assume is his WrestleMania 33 attire, along with The Undertaker 91, Undertaker 98, Undertaker 99 from the Ministry of Darkness, and Undertaker from 2000, which I'm assuming is Biker Taker. And we're looking at a lot of big men in this next reveal. There's a few I've missed, which I'm gonna cover off now, which is the Big Show, which he has two roster slots. Most recently, which is his uh, much slimmer version, you also have Big Show from 2000. Andre the Giant, who I believe has two or three different attire slots. Kane 1998, which would be Masked Kane, Normal Kane from current roster, and Corporate Kane as well. You also have the likes of Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. Sawyer Fawson, very surprising that he is in 2K18. Alexander Wolf, another part of Sanity, and Killian Dane included as well. And as we run into the final names being announced for WWE 2K18, JBL, which I would assume means that he will also have a Bradshaw attire as well. Moving next in to Tatanka. I can't imagine him having an additional attire. Typhoon, there's a couple of very strong names here. Tatsumi Fujinami as well. Although I don't, I'm not sure if they've got the image rights because it doesn't look like it here or I don't have any pictures of him. Booker T uh, included as well. I'm thinking possibly a King of Booker attire. Trish Stratus, I can definitely see maybe a T and A, maybe a current day brunette version as we move on to Psycho Sid and Jake the Snake Robert. Lots of legends being announced here. There's a lot of first timers as well. Talking about legends, other half of Edge and Christian, Christian himself, and an even bigger legend next, Stone Cold Steve Austin, smashing that glass. Aiden English, not quite on the same level of <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, and Goldust, who actually originally revealed the first part of the roster reveal, which is quite awesome. Big E then joins us along with Kofi Kingston, and this brand new gameplay look, Xavier Woods with the New Day. The latest gameplay reveal, which shows the New Day coming out as a threesome together. And now we move into the Vigilante. Well, I don't like him, the Vigilante. He's the icon. It's the Stinger. Woo! The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, is then stealing the show as Titus only on Titus Brand hits 2K18 as well. Enzo Amore, another screenshot coming up for you, two screenshots, and I love the graphics and the lighting in this. Enzo Amore looks fire and his outfit looks awesome. That picture from the stage downwards just looks awesome. The Brian Kendrick is then gonna make another return to WWE Games. Shane McMahon going to be in this one as well. However, he'll have some additional attires. Stephanie McMahon also appears in the game. She may have some additional attires over the time because you have the ECW, WCW Alliance. Uh, Shane and Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon uh, may potentially have 
her WrestleMania 33 attire. Ultimate Warrior, well, there's plenty of options for Warrior. You could even have a current day Warrior before he passed away. Charlotte Flair, again, if they wanted to, could have an NXT Charlotte Flair, whereas she was massively different to the current day. The Miz Taraz then coming with Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Cassius Ono then hits the NXT part of the roster. Darren Young making 2K18 even greater, not great again because it's already great anyway, and Rich Swan asking you if you can handle this. As we then move into Gran Metalik, Nam Da makes his debut in 2K Games in 2K18, Jack Gallagher also coming into the game, no way, Jose, in addition to Primo Cologne, along with Epico Cologne, both coming into WWE 2K18, that's a, that's a bit of a surprise. Tyson Kidd, I'm really shocked at this. Um, he hasn't been actively wrestling because of a career-ending injury for a long, long time. Billy Kay and Peyton Rice, the iconic duo, have entered 2K18 for the first time. Rhino, or 2K Games for the first time. Rhino then also makes a return to 2K Games. Kurt Hawkins, because Hawkins fears Grimm. Heath Slater makes a return because he's got kids, man as we move to our truth the final part before we have some brand new gameplay from these two final additions to WWE 2K18's incredible roster of over 200 superstars playable characters playable attires over 200 slots are going to be taken in 2K18 and Officer Fandango which you can probably then guess means the new gameplay is a brand new entrance. From the Fashion Police, Breezango, I want a Fashion Files special version. 2K Games, make it happen. But until next time, jabronis, make sure to check in to the SmackDown Hotel by subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below with who you are looking forward to the most and who you think is going to show up as DLC and out of the 200 superstars, who are you looking forward to beating first, apart from Kurt Hawkins? But until next time, make sure to check the roster page of the SmackDown Hotel to see more information about every single one of the announced roster. And you can also check out information whilst you're there if you want to about WWE Supercard, WWE Champions and past WWE games as well. This has been JB. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to check yourself into the SmackDown Hotel. See you later, great ones. Get the Deluxe Edition and play four days early.